What is up everyone, my name is Jack Carlson and welcome back to the episode of Hear Me Out here on MDK, the show where I talk about some of the most controversial topics around the world of motorsports. And today, we're talking about politics! Yay! Okay, so yesterday, let's not even waste any time. Yesterday uh, afternoon, Go Fast Racing announced with the Patriots of America PAC to sponsor a Republican uh, supported or Trump supported uh, sponsored like car for Corolla Joy for the for nine races in the NASCAR Cup Series. Now they gave a little tease to this last weekend at Pocono with this image with Trump 2020 located on the rear corner panels. Now that itself alone already got Twitter and social media on their toes on both sides, both excited and both kind of shaming NASCAR. And then when this news came out that they were going to be having a full primary sponsor for nine races, this exploded on social media. Again, one side favoring the move while the other dragging it through the mud. Now, I have something to say, so hear me out. The people that are pissed off about this change, get over it. Now, before you get into the comments to try and ridicule me for why you think you're right, just hear me out and then you can form your own conclusions down below. But here's the thing. First of all, I know we've heard the term keep politics out of sports, keep politics out of this, out of that. We've heard it time and time again, specifically with NASCAR, keep politics out of NASCAR. We've heard that for more prevalent now than ever in 2020 with in recent events, everything that has happened going on in our world. Politics is sort of being forced to be a conversation in sports and in NASCAR. This all started with the Confederate flag being banned from NASCAR events and then later that day, Bubba Wallace driving a Black Lives Matter car at Mar Martinsville. Again, one side favored this while the other degraded this. And people, the people that degraded this were saying, keep politics out of NASCAR. We came here to see a race, not to see politics or see any social issues. Well, I find it hypocritical that, that you see some of those same people now being in favor of this announcement of Trump, of a Trump sponsored or Trump supported car sponsoring a NASCAR Cup Series race car for nine races. If you're gonna say keep politics out of NASCAR, or let's just talk about NASCAR specifically. If you're gonna say keep politics out of NASCAR, you have to say it on both sides, all right? You can't just say, you can't just say keep politics out of NASCAR that favors the left but say, yes, yes, this is amazing, that favors the right. No, it has to be you either all in for everything or all out on nothing, okay? It has to be one of those two things. You can't pick and choose. For example, Kyle Weatherman in the NASCAR Xfinity Series drove the number 47 back the blue car at Homestead. Now, now this scheme was obviously, of course, to support, represent, and support police officers um, and police stations. Very few people though talked about that. Majority supported it. They were like, yes, yes, we praise this. Well, very few were angered by it. But again, those same people from either side saw the crisscross. When Joe Biden announced by Adam Stern that they were gonna be playing Joe Biden as their NASCAR racist, they were getting majority of the comments under that post. Not everything, but a good amount, or at least more than likely, the side of the comments were negative. Again, siding with the key politics out of NASCAR. But then I ask you this, all right? And we're gonna go back to the Go Fast Racing announcement, okay? And we're going to read the statement. Because one thing I do not like is I see a lot of people going after Corey LaJoy, who drives the number 32 car, saying on how, how could you represent uh, Donald Trump and the things that he's done, you know, keep politics out of NASCAR, this and that. Guys, Corey LaJoy had nothing to do with this, all right? And here's a statement from the racing team owner. I'm gonna read it out to you. It says, quote, I'm honored to be part of the president's re-election campaign through the Patriots of America PAC. As a Trump 2020 supporter, this team will do everything possible to secure victory on and off the track, electing President Donald Trump to a second term. Let us bring this country back and keep America great again. Again, that's a team owner. He's a Trump supporter himself. He makes the decisions. Corla Joy does not. Now, it'd be a different story if he brought in the sponsorship and he pushed for uh, uh, PAC or uh, Patriots of America PAC to sponsor a car. Then that'd be a different story. But LaJoy had nothing to do with this. So going after the jo LaJoy means nothing. And th this is a great point uh, that David Land tweeted out earlier today. That's like getting mad at Kevin Harvick or Brad Keselowski for being sponsored by Miller Lite uh, and Bush Beer, respectively, but then blame them for drunk driving or and blame them for drunk driving resulting in deaths. It's like that, that, that correlation th that makes no sense. 
Just because Corey LaJoy is driving a Trump 2020 car means nothing, all right? And you really should not be going after go fast racing as a whole because if you are a NASCAR team owner, an up and coming NASCAR team owner, specifically in the Cup Series, you know how expensive it is to not only get a sponsorship, but to get sponsorship for a good period of time. Five to 10 races is tough for a small team like Go Fast Racing. They're near the bottom half of the mid tier team. So when a sponsor like this is bringing good money for a good amount of time, nine races, you're going to take that money, all right? You're going to take that money because you know you're going to use that money and invest it onto your team. Because that's the end of the game here. That's really the whole basis of this. Yes, he said, you know, to support Donald Trump and anything, yada, yada, yada. The bottom line is they're getting money to help put into their race team to grow. That is the main purpose of this whole transaction. All right. I don't think this team owner would not have taken it if he didn't, well, if he wasn't not getting a good amount of money. All right. You have to understand it. NASCAR in 2020, it is hard to get sponsored for a good period of time. And for a back marker team like Go Fast Racing to get stable sponsorship for at least the next nine races and get good money while they're at it, it seems like a win win to me. I don't know about you, but look, I'm not a Trump supporter, all right? I'm not a Democrat, nor I'm not a Republican. I personally think both sides are toxic. However, if let's say uh, a Democratic supporter group or a Republican supporter group came out to me, gave me, here's uh, $800,000 for six races, all right? Would you take it? Of course, I'm gonna take it. Because it's big money, stable sponsorship that I can invest it and add into resources to my team to help grow, to get better finishes, better results, which will lead to more money, which will lead to them maybe getting even bigger sponsorships who are able to offer even more money. And you get my drift, right? You get what I'm trying to say here. This is nothing but good for Go Fast Racing and their team and everyone that works at that team, okay? Regardless of what, if it agrees with your opinion or not, regardless of what you say, whether you hate Trump or not, get over it, all right? It's a sponsorship deal that is going to help a team, all right? Now, I would even understand the backlash if, he, if, it, uh, if they were to sponsor a Rick Hendrick team or a Joe Gibbs team. Then I would slightly get that. I'd get, I'd get the, uh, uh, the backlash. But for a team like Go Fast Racing that is one of the back marker teams, Seriously, if there is money, they're going to take it. Doesn't matter who it's from or what they're sponsoring. Obviously, they're gonna try and keep it civil, but something like this doesn't matter. It does not matter. And again, this goes to people who say that keep politics out of NASCAR. If you're one of those people that are uh, that say keep politics out of NASCAR, we don't want to see Trump sponsor like cars, then I don't want to hear any of you talk about when Joe Biden commercials appear in NASCAR races. I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear anything from you guys if you are saying keep politics out of NASCAR. I don't want to hear anything if it involves a Democratic something Democratic doing something with NASCAR. Don't want to hear about it, okay? Again, you either accept all or accept none. You cannot pick and choose. You cannot support a Black Lives Matter uh, movement, which in terms of if you look at how society is right now, it's leaning more towards the Democratic side rather than the Republican side. So we're, we'll, we'll put it in that range. You cannot agree with that but then not agree with this just because it doesn't support your opinion or the man that is being sponsored or you know the name being trump uh, that's being uh, uh that's having his name out there doesn't support your opinions okay so that's really all i gotta say you either accept all or accept none all right and at the end of the day it's money going to a team that needs it and again that's the whole purpose of this it's going to a team that needs it all right, I, I would even understand if Rick Hendrick or Roush Fenway or even a Joe Gibbs, I would understand that. But to go fast racing team, how small they are, of a team they are, if there's money and stable sponsorship, they will take it. It doesn't matter who it's from. And the thing is, is that I know if we saw a bunch of Joe Biden sponsored like cars out on the racetrack, the majority of the people out there that would say, keep politics out of NASCAR, you wouldn't hear a word from them. What do you think when the news came out about Trump uh, 2020 being sponsored on GoFast Racing 32 car, you heard very little on keep politics out of NASCAR. But 
when Joe Biden, a few weeks ago, when it was announced that he was going to be putting ads during NASCAR races. Oh, keep Paul's out of NASCAR. Keep Paul's out of NASCAR. What is this? What is this? We came here to watch a race, not about politics. Kind of hypocritical, if you ask me. But, again, this is just my opinion, all right? Now I'm going to pass the question off to you. Do you think, what are your thoughts on this whole announcement? I'm very, very curious to hear your guys' opinions on this thing because, I mean, whenever you're talking about anything political, it's going to get messy. So let's try and keep it civil, right? Let's try and keep it civil. I know the last Hear Me Out video that I made regarding the Bubble Walls news situation was not that civil. So hopefully we can uh, uh, make it a bit better. Um, <laughs> I highly doubt that, though. So, but yeah, final statement. Don't really care that uh, LaJoy's, uh, that the team is being sponsored by Trump. I really don't care. As if they're getting money that can help their race team, fine by me. Until next time, my name is Jeff from MDK. Thank you guys so much for hearing me out, and I'll see you guys next time.